Hey everybody, welcome to Lift Vector. I'm back with a new build today. It's the FT Spear again, but she's new and improved with a much more wild paint scheme. I've also added some cool 3D printed parts to improve the performance on landings. She has the same electronics as my last Spear. So if you wanna look at my last video, I go into detail on the electronics. Today, we're gonna to look at the 3D printed parts. This build is the successor to my red and black spear I showed in my last video. She was doing really well running missions. Uh, she had a couple hard landings and she had to be retired. So this build is the replacement for her. Testing has gone well. She's run a few missions. So today we're gonna run a three and a half mile or around six kilometer waypoint mission. I'll be taking over manual control of the craft during the mission so I can deviate from the waypoint path and just and just have a more interesting flight and show you what it's like to switch between modes. We're also going to simulate a return to home sequence. So we're going to simulate what happens when I lose my FPV feed. All right, so let's go, let's go over these 3D printed parts I was talking about. There's quite a few of them. We got the winglets, the vertical fins, control horns, control linkage supports, motor mount. The front camera assembly is also 3D printed. And on the bottom, it's equipped with a full set of skid plates and skid fins. Because my landing out here, it's, it's pretty tough. So, they're working really well. It's been taking the hits, getting that prop off the ground a little bit, you know. I'm really happy you guys liked my last video. And commented and subscribed and it gave me a lot of motivation to keep doing these builds and show you guys these missions and this is what I'm all about so as a thank you I want to give all of you the STLs for this build I design all my models in blender and I bring them into Cura and I print them on my Ender 3 V2s so yeah check out this full line of 3d printed parts for an FT spear use them for personal use and have fun they really improve the craft for me just printing out all these parts is pretty satisfying so I, I wish you guys good luck on the prints and there's a G Drive link in the description it's just my personal storage so it's it's just go in there grab the files and get out it's not no hassle so have fun let's get to this flight and get the mission loaded my VO will be using a small LCD screen with a maple patch antenna and just a simple Omni directional works pretty well you'd be surprised for a little hundred dollar monitor Okay, we're gonna start up the craft and get GPS lock. All right, we have GPS lock. We're gonna load the mission. The mission is loaded. Okay, let's go. Okay, everybody, we got the three and a half mile mission loaded for about six kilometers. Uh, wish me luck on this auto launch. It's uh, now or never, so let's go. Flight mode launch. Um. Auto launch, raise the throttle. All right, I'm gonna take over control. All right, I have control. I'm just gonna get the nerves out. We're gonna do a pass. All right, let's get into angle mode and start the mission. Waypoint one is right in front of us. All right, I'm gonna settle in and get in the chair. Okay. Waypoint one is finished. Waypoint two out of six. We have 28 satellites, 29. Doing good there. And I'm gonna take over control. Going to manual mode. 
I know where the first waypoint is. All right, she's bucking some wind. I'm gonna get into acro mode. Yeah, that's feeling better. The wind is picking up. We're just gonna have to keep an eye on it. All right, let's start heading back towards the waypoint. Get into angle mode and let's simulate an FPV feed loss and what I do. So let's just say we're getting too low. And I still have video, but this is just a simulation. Alright, what do I do? I pull up, I throttle out, I try to get reception. If I still don't have feed, I hit return to home. Alright, the craft is in return to home mode going to climb to the altitude, the maximum altitude, during this flight, and then come back home. And that's my procedure. So let's disable return to home and activate the mission. All right. So that clearing is about a mile away from us, and the first, the second waypoint is that furthest tree you see there. So let's uh get back into manual control and let's juice it pulling about 17 amps going 54 miles an hour I just got to maintain altitude to uh, get my FPV feed here All right, I'm gonna to switch to angle mode and activate the mission. The VTX is reading 25 milliwatts, but that, I don't think that's right because I've chosen power level three and that should be closer to about 500 milliwatts. But um, I'm gonna get ready to take over control just in case this waypoint is too close to the tree in altitude. She is cruising towards the point. Looks like she's going to clear. There we go. Waypoint three. Okay. I'm going to take over control. Go to acro mode. And let's just cruise around here for a little bit. Video signal is holding up nicely. All right. We don't need to go max throttle that long. Nice shot of the mountains there. Roger. My VO just mentioned we have crossed 1,000 milliamps used, so we're going to sweep back and get into angle mode. Let's check out that view from the rear camera. I'm going to up the throttle to, let's go around 75%. Go back to the front facing camera. Let's, let's activate the mission. Point 0.72 miles away from the next waypoint. Got 31 satellites, that's amazing. All right, let's take over control. Go to Accra, just because the wind is sketch. Alright, I lost video there, so I pulled up. If you saw that, that's a perfect example. I got way too low behind those trees. But here on this ridge, we have line of sight to the field. You can see our home point there. I'm going to activate the mission. Waypoint three out of six. Let's just let her take the rest of the way. Thirty-two satellites. Yep, we're holding strong. Twenty-eight miles an hour. Just pulling nine amps, and 
We're about 500 feet from this waypoint. Total distance traveled is just about four miles. She hit the waypoint. And she is coming back. The next waypoint is kind of up on this little ridge here. I'm going to take over control. We're going to go into acro mode. Let's get this throttle up. Get some heat into the system. Perfect day to fly. The wind's behaving nicely right now. I'm going to activate the mission again. All right, we were pretty close. And we'll get into angle mode just in case we need to swap out. But so far, so good. We have two waypoints left. And I'm going to take over control because I, I know where the next waypoint is. There's a pond 0.6 miles away. All right, let's go. Let's see how she does in manual mode. Yeah, she's still getting bucked around. Let's get into acro. Woo! Roger. Okay, let's get this mission over. Let's finish this mission. Heading over to the pond. We're pulling 16 amps, 18 amps. Oh, we're juicing. All right, let's activate the mission. And activate angle mode. I'm going to turn my head to get a better patch signal. There's the pond. Last waypoint. All right, I'm taking over control. mode. There's the home point. Let's let's finish off the mission. Total distance traveled 5.7 miles. Just crossed 2,000 milliamps used. All right. Okay. Waypoint's done. Mission's done. I'm taking over control. There. Let's do one more pass and take her home. Time to bring her, time to bring her in. Roger. picking up a little. That was pretty smooth. Let's go check her out. I'll leave the stats up for a little bit. I'm running to the landing site. That wind is picking up. I think we got back just in time. That was a smooth landing, so those skid plates did their thing and she is looking good. Yeah, that prop is in one piece. Yeah. I don't know, that was a pretty sweet mission, guys. Thanks for joining me and watching, and I hope you learned something from all the mode changes and the return to home sequence and all that. So please subscribe and like, and I'll be back with another cool build or find another mission with this. So thanks so much, everybody. Have a good day.